So today we're going to do a little springtime's essentials video, and I'll just give a little bit more time for some people to join. That way I'm not starting too quickly. And if you are joining us here on YouTube as well, I'm going to have Riley be telling me some of the comments you guys are leaving. So I am currently streaming on Verishop and everything is listed in the description bar for those of you watching on YouTube. If you want to follow me on Verishop, if you want to purchase any of the items that we're talking about today, you can just click the link down below. And yeah, I'm really excited. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to shout them out. And I hope everybody's having a good day so far. <clears throat> All right, so I think we will. Ooh, look at the cute little avocados. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna start to go live. And we're going to start the tutorial. And I'm going to just always start. You guys know we always start with the brows. We always start with the brows. So we're going to be going on in with Wander Beauty. And it's the Frame Your Face Brow Product. And I'm just going to attach this to the live so that way you guys can see it if you're interested at all. And the color I'm using is dark brown and I like that it's a thin angled wand. It's really nice to get in there, especially if you have curly brow hairs like myself, it really adds some like nice definition to the brow. And we can erase some of that. <laughs> and doing the same thing over here. And we're gonna get started with our skincare as well. But I always wind up doing my brows first just because I feel like if the brows are done, I'm ready to go, I'm ready for the day. You know what I mean? So I love this brow product. It's really nice, it's really easy, especially if you have thinner brows. This is nice that it's a thinner spoolie so that way you can really get in there and let's go ahead and brush some of this out. I always like to go in with like an additional spoolie that just kind of gets your brow hairs. So that way it's not like if anything's stuck, it doesn't look too harsh. And this one from Wander Beauty, I really like the shade medium brown or dark brown rather. Yeah, I love brown brow gels as well. So let's move on to some skincare. And we're going to be now talking about Wander Beauty. And Wander Beauty has really, really, really great under eye patches. I actually put some of these in my bridesmaids proposal box. I'm giving it out to my sister actually this this coming week. She's gonna see it. But Riley's sister and my cousin already opened up their boxes. So you get a whole package of under eye patches in here. And I always love to do a nice little under eye patch while I'm starting my makeup. And this is the Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. This guy is like an OG eye mask. I remember I used to do these even just back in the day, like when everybody was using the Farsali Elixir and everything. So it's fun to bring these back. And this is what it looks like when you pull it out. I actually like that it's in this contained little space because sometimes when you pull out under eye masks, you know, it takes a minute to get them out. And then sometimes you can rip them in half and then the product's dripping all over the floor. So I really like how contained these guys are. And it's really easy to put them on as well. So this is what it looks like. just gonna plop this on and look at how like bougie we look we look super bougie I love it I love anything gold I mean I'm such a gold girl 
Riles, how's YouTube looking? It looks good. Brianna wants to know if the Saturn tattoo is new. Yes, the Saturn tattoo is new. It's very relatively new. I got it done in December. And so these I'm just going to leave on. And, okay, another thing I want to tell you guys that I really love to do that even if you want to step it up a notch, add a little bit more luxury to you, where I like to go over with an actual mask, which looks like this. I'm popping it up for you guys. It's the Mount Lay Eye Mask. And what I like to do is really just relax with this on and even just like meditate a little bit. You guys know I've been doing meditation Mondays on my Instagram. And obviously, I'm not going to talk like this the whole time, but that is one of my favorite things to do. And it's so relaxing. And if you're someone like me who, you know, you have a hard time putting your phone down, you have a hard time turning your brain off, you know, sometimes it's hard to just relax. So adding this mask is such a great feature even to your skincare to get you to relax to get you to feel like we're at the spa and just having a great time. So I really love this. You can also, as a pro tip, you can leave this in the refrigerator or the freezer. It's amazing. Oh, hey, Luis. It is amazing for cooling and depuffing as well. No, it's not heavy. It's actually a nice weight. It doesn't feel too heavy on your face or anything like that. And this is how it is looking. So I really love that it's jade as well. You guys know I love my crystals. So I love this. It's great. It's great even for the spring coming up because now it's getting warmer and we're looking for a little bit more depuffing this time of year. So definitely, definitely recommend this. I love, Same love mask. this product. How heavy the mask is. So the mask isn't heavy really at all. It's, I would even say it's lighter than a pound. Like it's so light um and it just feels super relaxing like i love to just lay back and have it on and meditate it's really really so nice even i even got riley using this sorry honey i was spreading your secrets <laughs> so as we kind of let these sit we can move on to our eye makeup and even before that, actually, let's talk a little bit more about body care and skin care because skin is the largest organ on the body. You want to make sure that you're taking care of it and not only just taking care of your face, taking care of your entire body. Oh, do Alyssa wants to know if we use the, the, the mask at room temp. Yeah, you can totally use it at room temp. You do not have to put it in the fridge but i personally like to put it in the fridge because it gives you that deep puffing element so let's get moving on to the next product and for those of you on youtube make sure you check on in the vera shop app because all the products that i'm using are going to be within the vera shop app and if you are watching on vera shop you'll be able to see the products pop up live on the screen and purchase them right then and there if that's something you guys are interested in so the next thing we're going to talk about and this product's actually on sale it's called up circle is the brand and it's a body cream and look at how nice this packaging is that the packaging is so aesthetically pleasing and i just love the way it looks i love this color green i was actually even talking to riley like hey maybe this will be the color green for our wedding or something like that but this is what it looks like inside it smells so good it's got a eucalyptus smell to it and again, it just kind of adds to that feeling of like, oh, we're at the spa, everything is fresh. So I'm going to go ahead and especially my elbows get so dry, my knees get so dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now for you guys. And we're just going to apply some body cream and it's, it just smells so good. It's very relaxing. Yeah, Luis, it's kind of like, a relaxing vibe like you're at the spa it's just so nice and it's like it just there's something about eucalyptus that just like 
instantly makes me feel more calm. So I'm over here like, ah. <laughs> but it's a great, great body cream. And like I'm saying, you know, with the spring coming up and the su even summer's right around the corner, y'all, especially if you live in California, I feel like we barely get a spring. So, you know, we're wearing shorts, we're having tank tops on, and I can't even tell you how many times I have left my house and I've just been like, oh God, my knees or my elbows or even just my chest, you know? So love this and it smells incredible. And even the packaging, I feel like it looks so chic. You can almost even have it displayed if you have a skincare shelf or anything like that. Danny says hi from Washington State. Oh, hi, Danny from Washington State. Represent. Represent. So let's move on to our next body product. And this is actually going to be a deodorant. And this deodorant is also on sale currently. Hey, Mo, how you doing, girl? This is currently on sale, and this is a natural deodorant, and it's from a brand called Indie Lee. Another thing I love about Verishop is you're able to find a lot, a lot of indie brands and new brands and up-and-coming brands on the, on the app. So I love that I'm also, because you guys know me, I, I love to like experiment with beauty, but sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the new brands. So I really do like that I'm able to find brands that I normally wouldn't on Verishop. So this is the Indie Lee deodorizer and it is an energized deodorant and the smell is very fresh and... Let's get this off. This is a new one. And I like that it's like, it's super satisfying because you kind of twist it up and it comes out of the holes here. So let's just get it moving. I think I'm spinning it the right way. Sometimes it takes a second. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. I'm not gonna push too much through because you don't wanna have too much. But I absolutely love this deodorant and it smells really good. And it's a really nice natural deodorant. I've been trying to use more natural deodorants. I know sometimes it's hard because you wanna have something that smells amazing. And again, this is a similar eucalyptus smell. So I love, 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 love the way it smells. And as you guys can see, there's no white cast. You're able to just rub it in and don't have to worry about any white cast, which is also another concern with the spring months coming up. Like, you know, I'm very animated. You guys know I talk with my hands, things get flying, moving around. So it's nice to have a no white cast or anything like that on your deodorant. But I really do love the smell. It's plant derived and it's all natural deodorant. So anybody that's interested in that, I highly recommend. This is one of the really good ones that actually works and doesn't like just leave you stinky throughout the day, you know? Because sometimes you never know with natural deodorants, but I really do love this one. So let's go ahead and take our under eye patches off. And just so you guys know, this is what the other side looks like when you take it off. It's not gold on both sides. And it's, oh my God, what you can do, what I like to do is even take some of the excess that's on the little sheet and just take it and rub it in even more. Because why not? We want all those juices. We love to hydrate. So now we can move on to our eyes. Do we have any questions, Rouse? Elva wants to know if the deodorant darkens your skin like other natural deodorants. I haven't noticed it darken my skin, but I, I haven't used it long enough to know. But I will definitely keep you guys updated on it. But I don't notice any darkening just yet. So I hope that's helpful. All right, so for for makeup, so I'm gonna for we're gonna start with our eyes. And you guys know whenever I do my makeup, I always start with my eyes. It's like 
I have this thing where I need to start with my eyes first. So we're going to be using the Kosas Revealer Super Creamy Concealer. And this product is low on stock. However, I do have another favorite of mine listed in the Vera Shop favorites. It's the Wander Dua List Concealer. So if you don't, if we don't have your shade in the Kosas, we can do it in the Wander beauty if you guys are looking for a new concealer but what I'm gonna do is just apply this on my eyes and get ready to blend it out and apply our eyeshadow so let's go ahead let's go ahead and just grab a little brush here and tap it out like so. You could use a sponge, whatever you want to do. There's no rules when it comes to makeup, which is why I love it so much. Oh, Monica, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. And again, if there's any questions on YouTube, since we are streaming on Shop, Riley will relay them to me. All right. What I like to do because we just applied a wet concealer, I like to set it just a little bit. So we're going to use the Wonder 2 powder. And let me pull it up for the people that are on Shop, So that way you guys can see it. This is also on sale. This is really great to just set whatever you got going on, on your face, on your eyes, whatever it may be. Um, you could use this to set concealer under your eyes. You could even use it to like get rid of any blotting, oil, anything like that. I also sometimes in the spring and summer months, I like to add some body oil and some like body glitter to my decollete here. You can even take a powder like this and kind of set it a little bit so it doesn't move around completely. So I'm really excited because I'm using a lot of new brands in this tutorial and it's really fun for me because sometimes I can get stuck in my habits and use the same things over and over. So now we're going to move on to our actual eyeshadow and it's going to be from Stare Cosmetics and let's pull it up. This is a great little trio and you guys know that um, neutral eyeshadow looks are very much so in. We've gone back to the basics. You know what I mean? We've gone back to the basics when it comes to makeup in general. And I kind of like that. I kind of like that things are not as complicated as they used to be. And I like that we're going back to a little bit more of a natural route when it comes to makeup. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like inside. So it's a lot of neutrals, which is great for those of you who don't like to play around with color or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use a matte palette like this, and but also dazzle it up with the Kosas 10 second eyeshadow, which we'll be using later on our full lid. So I always like to start with a transition color, right? That's the color that goes the highest on your eyebrows. And so what I like to do is since we already set our eyes with white, let's go ahead and set now use this kind of like mauve color, I would say. And we're going to be using this color and just dusting it in the crease like so. Look at how nice that looks. And it blends really nicely, which is something that I feel like you could tell right away with an eyeshadow palette. Like, you could tell right away if it's going to blend or not. So, yeah, Mo, I love, I love a good neutral look. I really do. You guys can see Junie right next to me. She's just hanging out with me today. So we got like a little transition going. Sometimes I can get crazy with my transitions and I'd just be sitting here for hours doing the same thing. But I promise 
I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> so next, we're gonna use a little bit more of a denser brush. So let me find it. Here we go. And I'm gonna use this light pink shade and I'm gonna go directly in the socket. Curtsy, I feel you, girl. Like sometimes I just be blending and blending and I'm like, okay, I need to stop. I need to move on to the next color. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and you guys can see the pigment is really, really nice because like I said, it's just a simple neutral look. We're not doing anything super, super crazy. This is very achievable. And honestly, it's very beginner friendly too. So I'm just pushing it directly in the socket right there. Same thing over here. I see all you guys adding things to your cart. <laughs> How's it going on YouTube, Rouse? Good. I love it. Eight one eight in the house. Eight one eight. So, all right, I think we can move on now because I definitely am boring you guys with just doing the same. Everybody always says to me, you know, like, do tutorials that are unedited, just unedited, unedited tutorials. And I'm always like, guys, you're going to just be uh, sitting there watching me blend 40 transition shades. <laughs> and the last color we're going to use is this dark purple. I'm going to mix it with the brown. So just kind of a little back and forth moment. I always like to tap off the excess. And for this, I'm going to keep in the outer corner of the eye just to add a little bit of dimension. And here's like one of my favorite tips when it comes to eyeshadows like this. So obviously this isn't blended, right? Take a brush that doesn't have any product on it. And all you need to do is just start to blend out the edges. And all of a sudden it's blended and it looks great. So, don't freak out if you're ever doing an eyeshadow look and it's not blended or you're like, oh my God, just grab that extra brush. It, it really works. And we're doing the same thing over here. I like to go around in circles. I find it diffuses a little bit better. And let's go ahead and blend. I also have some other products on this list that are really amazing. You guys can flip through if you are on the Verishop app. If you are on YouTube, you could just click the link in the description. And I think we're pretty much ready to move on. I want this to be like very soft and blown out. So now let's move on to our Kosas. And we even, we also have RMS Beauty 2. These are both really, really great toppers that are also in the list. So let me pick the Kosas one for you guys here on Vera Shop. And if we run out of that one, I also recommend the RMS one. It's really, really pretty. Actually, let's use it both. You know what I mean? We'll place this down as a base. So we'll just start to tap it. Look how pretty that is. It's very like, like the glossy eye trend. It reminds me a lot of that. Someone wants to know if you changed your hair color. No. I haven't changed my hair color in a while, but um, my roots, my roots are really peeking through. So maybe that's why. So 
So we'll use that as a base. And now we will go in with our co-sauce. And when you're using the 10 second liquid eyeshadow, you want to shake it up because just trust me, you want to shake it. Okay. Because it'll be a little bit separated and it dries down really nicely. You do not need a lot of this product. And my favorite way to apply it is to just do like a little stroke in the middle and then just kind of like tap it out just like this. And it blends in so nicely with our shadow that we already have. That's one of my favorite reasons why I have this on my list because it just blends so easily. And let's do the same thing over here. I wonder if I could zoom you guys on in. But we'll just tap, tap, tap. You guys can see it closer up over here. And it blends so nicely. And it's very, very shimmery. The, the camera is not doing it justice. It is one of the most shimmery eyeshadows I've ever seen. And as it's drying, you can also add more layers to build it up. But it also has like sparkle in it. It's super pretty. It's so easy. Like, honestly, a lot of you guys were asking me if I would do my own makeup for my wedding. And I'm not really sure yet, but I think I'll probably wind up doing my makeup for the rehearsal dinner, which is typically the night before. And honestly, this 10 second eyeshadow is going to be with me that whole weekend because it's so easy. Like, literally, you just tap it on and it's so beautiful there's also other shades too we have this more gold one this one is called supreme and we can tap this on as well it's seriously one of my favorites Luis, you're back and you can see it it's a little bit more of a yellowy gold and we could just tap it out and it adds kind of a little bit more warmth to the eye. Yeah, it's such a pretty color. It really is. And I'm, like I'm saying, you guys, the camera is not doing it justice. It is so sparkly in real life. It does look good. It looks, Riley confirms, it is sparkly. <laughs> Can confirm. Can confirm. So now let's move on to our lashes. And for lashes, what we have is Doe Fairy Dust. And these are also on sale. And what I really like about this is that they're very natural and fluffy looking lashes. They're, they're beautiful. I love these lashes. And so we're going to be applying them today. And I usually take off the ends like about that much. That way you guys can see. <laughs> and I'm going to add some glue. Caleb says, Ayo. Oh, Caleb's in the house on YouTube. So, yeah, these are really nice lashes, and I just, I like the way they look on as well. They're very, very fluffy, very fairy-like. <laughs> and when you're applying false lashes, just in case if anybody doesn't know, I always like to let the glue dry a little bit, let it get a little bit tacky. 
and sometimes like you could blow on it when I used to live in New York and I had one of those space heaters, I would put the lash up to the space heater so that it would dry quicker. <laughs> so yeah, a fan, whatever you want, a space heater. So let's go ahead and pop these on. And a lot of the times, like I won't talk when I apply falsies because I need utter concentration. And I'm using my tweezers to just pinch it together. Lily wants to know if the lashes are light. Yes, the lashes are very, very light. They're not heavy at all. I love the way they fit on my lash. And I'm just pinching them together. And you can see what a difference it makes, even with the eye makeup, you know, like it's such a difference. So let's go ahead and apply the other one. And I might take sometimes like, I have to take a little bit more off on my left eye than my right eye when it comes to lashes. So trim at whatever way, like it fits your eye the best. You don't have to line it up or anything like that. <laughs> Aaron, you can do it. I promise. It just takes a little bit of practice, but you got it. I believe in you. So we're just going to let these dry. But I hope everybody's having a great week so far. Genesis says, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> For those of you just joining on YouTube, I am currently streaming on Veroshop. It's a app where you can purchase a bunch of things and watch live reviews. You can watch product reviews. You can watch... Like, even, there's even a tab for wedding items. It's really, really cool. You could check out the link in my description on YouTube. And we also have a discount code for you on YouTube as well. All right. Let's pop this guy on. And I'm going super, super close to the lash line. And squeezing with my natural lashes. And I just kind of wiggle it around a little bit too. We can also take some eyeshadow. This is a little trick that I really like to do. Um, if you ever feel like, you know, you need a little bit of liner or something, I like to take a little bit of shadow on an angled brush and it'll help connect the lash to the inner corner if you kind of just create almost like a fake line just even adding that adds so much so that's like and you could see i have it done on this eye and not on this eye so it adds like a little bit more dimension there and you can even like go right alongside the actual lash if you want to make it look a little bit more 
cohesive, blend it a little bit more into your natural lashes. That's one of my favorite things to do. So just even taking that eyeshadow palette that we were using earlier, and it looks so good. You know, this eye doesn't have anything. This eye has the liner with the shadow. So you can really tell it, it kind of spruces it up. It brings it from like day to night. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. And it's hard for me to like talk and do eye makeup at the same time, but there we have it. It's so easy, so simple. Something that a lot of people can achieve, especially even if you're a little bit nervous with lashes, try laying down a little bit of eyeliner first or even going in with liner shadow after they're placed because it really, really does help kind of make them blend better. So now let's move on to our face. And we're going to be using Kosas Foundation. And let me pull it up for you for those who are on the Veroshop app. And this is also on sale. You guys, I cannot say enough good things about this Kosas Foundation. This is the tinted face oil. And it just looks so good on your skin. And I love the way it just kind of evens out the skin tone without making it look too like full coverage or anything like that. So I am gonna put some on this brush and it comes out very liquidy. That's why I like to apply it straight to a, a brush and we can start applying it. And look at how hydrating it makes my skin look. Let's add some more, cause the coverage is light. Just so you guys know, it is a skin tint. The coverage is light. Yeah, B says you look like a pixie. You're just missing your wings. Oh my God, thanks. <laughs> And we can also use this to clean up our makeup. You see, like, kind of fan it out a little bit there. Put some up here. This is going to be great for those of you who have dry skin. Uh, and I have very, very, very dry skin. So especially this time of year, I lean towards, I lean towards having more hydrating products. And I also like to bring it down to my chest. Whenever I'm using any type of foundation, I always like to do that. And we got a little nice fanned out eyeshadow. Now let's go ahead and pop back on that concealer from Kosas as well. I'll bring it back up for y'all. And this combo is really great for dry skin. Like I'm telling you, this is such a nice combination of the concealer and the foundation together. And I always like to add just a little bit of concealer here. And now we can go ahead and blend it out. One little tip or trick I like to do is let my concealer sit a little bit because you'll have more coverage in the areas that you let it sit a little bit more for. So I'm going to go ahead and just start blending out this concealer down here. Natalie wants to know what brush that was oh it's the lunar beauty brush it's the lbf2 it's a really great brush what's that this brush this is a rare beauty br brush 
So let's go ahead and we're just gonna tap this out into the skin. And what I like to do is like when I'm wearing somewhat of a skin tint, leaving the concealer in the areas where you need more coverage is always what I like to do. And that will also really lift our face. I'm like, let's get our forehead too, why not? And I like to go back in with the original brush that we were using and just kind of blend it out a little bit more. That way it all really blends nice together. And look at how nice and sharp our, under, our eye makeup looks. You know, it looks really, really nice. So now what I want to do is just set our face because obviously it's very dewy and I like that it's dewy, but this is going to slide everywhere. So we got to set it. So we're going to go back and use the Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder. And we're just going to go on in and set everything with the Wonder Brush. We're just going to go like this. Nicole says hi, Nicole. Hi. Nicole Squad. Nicole Squad. So, yeah, you can tell this powder, like, it does a good job at, like, kind of just setting everything in place, but not completely mattifying it. And that's why I like it. It's uh, so sharp you could cut someone. <laughs> okay. I think we're looking good. Just going to set a little bit more under the eyes. There we go. Super easy, right? And then now let's go back to our Stare Cosmetics palette. And let's do our under eyes. And I'm basically just going to be going in with the colors we used in our transition. So a mixture of this one, these three in the middle here is what we're going to be using. So just going underneath and kind of connecting it with the line that we have from our shadow. which looks really cute. I like the way this looks a lot, actually. And I feel like it's mandatory to make faces like that when you do your under eyes. <laughs> so let's add that Kosas to our eyes as well, our under eyes. And I am pulling up the product again for you guys. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And let's go ahead and apply right underneath the eye. And you can even take your pinky if you want and kind of dab it out. You don't necessarily need to, but it's just so that it matches the same lid color. This is like one of my favorite ways to wear eyeshadow on the lower lash line is kind of just matching it up to the actual lid. And again, you can just use your pinky if you want. What do we got for blush? For blush, you guys. We have Smith and Colt Flash Flush Cream. I know that's a mouthful. This color is so beautiful, you guys. It is so beautiful. This is what it looks like. And we're going to apply it with a brush. And it's got cream, but it's not like 
dewy at all. It's a very, very nice texture. It's not too dewy. So anybody that's oily, I would say you don't necessarily really need to worry about this being too oily of a product. And I'm just going to really saturate this on the face because I like a lot, a lot of blush. And today we're not even going to be using bronzer on our face. We're going to be using just blush because I've seen this as a little bit of a trend going around, around, especially on TikTok where people are using blush as a bronzer and it looks super beautiful. It looks perfect for the springtime. So that's what we're doing. Look at how beautiful, look at how beautiful this blush is. Wow. I love it. I've used this blush before and every time I put it on, I'm like, wow, it is so good. And not a lot of people talk about it actually. And we're also going to get our nose because I like the like sunburnt look, you know, I like the little cutesy blush on the nose. God, I could, I could just add blush to my face all day long, all day long. <laughs> Look at, I'm, I just keep going. I just keep going. <laughs> Natalie wants to know if you like black wing eyeliner or brown. Ooh, that's a great question. So on YouTube, we had a question that is whether or not I prefer black wing eyeliner or brown wing eyeliner. So for me, I personally find that I like black eyeliner when I'm going out. Like if it's out, if it's out for dinner, out for the night. However, I really personally, for more of an everyday, I've been gravitating towards more of a brown eyeshadow look or, and a brown wing look. But what I was trying to say, and I messed up my words, is that I really like using brown eyeshadow as liner. That's been my go-to. And that's something you can definitely do with this Stair Cosmetics palette that I used on my lid. You know, we have a dark enough brown shade. And like you guys saw me fill in my liner with this brown color from the palette. And it really looks great. I really love the way it looks. And it also, like I said, helps blend in your lashes, your falsies, if you're new to putting them on. So what, yeah, this blush, anyway, this blush, the Smith and Colt, I could sit here and apply it forever. It's so good. And again, if you're watching on YouTube, I am working with Bear Shop and it's an app that you can download. It's linked, everything in the description. And from YouTube, what you can do is enter the discount code Nicole for 15% off at the checkout. And all of the items that we're using and talking about today will be listed in my actual Vera Shop favorites tabs. So in my list, in my collection. So you guys can go ahead like after this live is done, you can always go to my Vera Shop and check out the live, check out my favorites. And thank you in advance if you do purchase anything from Vera Shop because I do get a little bit of a commission in return. So thank you everyone, I really appreciate it. I see on Vera Shop, we have some sales going on. So thank you guys. And yeah, I just, uh, we need more blush. I'm sorry, we need, we need more. We just need more. You could even use this blush as eyeshadow too. If you wanted to do a monochromatic look, you could use it for lipstick. If you have like a clear gloss or anything like that, cream blushes are one of my favorite things because they're so versatile in what you can use with them. All right. Ooh, let's move on to our lips. And for our lips, we got we got a really va va voom combination going on. So we are gonna be using the Wonder Two Must Have Matte Lipstick. And I felt like since it is spring, we gotta go in with a bright va va voom color, right? Look at how pretty this color is. I just feel like it'll brighten the whole look, especially when we have neutral eyeshadow on. So we have some lip liner here. So let's apply the lip liner from Wonder as well. It 
sometimes it's hard to talk and do the liner thing too. Let's use our Sarah Cosmetics palette for the mirror. And what I like to do sometimes is just like fill in the corners. That helps, you know, just in general with applying lipstick because sometimes we can forget to add the corners. And now let's pop on this lipstick. The lipstick is super comfortable too for a matte formula. Look at how pretty that is. It's such a pretty color. It's it's like very spring summer vibes. I love the way it looks. I really love the way it looks with this specific look in general because like I said with the neutral eye, we got a lot of great pop with the lipstick and it adds it just adds something, you know? And for those of you that don't like the matte finish, we also can add a lip oil, which is what I'm going to now bring up for you guys. This is the Kosas Wet Lip Oil Gloss. And the color I'm using is Unhooked. And basically what we're going to be doing is just adding a little bit to the center. And it'll add a nice little gloss shine hydrating element to the matte lipstick if matte lipsticks aren't your cup of tea. Sunflower wants to know if your wedding makeup is going to look like this. No, I don't think I'll wear red lipstick on my wedding day, but definitely will be doing a neutral eye for sure. And this, this wet lip oil from Kosas, it's literally one of my favorite things. I always have it with me in my purse, and it's currently on sale now in the Verishop app as well. And I'm going to pick back up this Wonder 2, actually, this Wonder 2 powder. And I'm going to add a little bit more just around my under eyes. It does a great job at brightening too. And if you ever have a big fluffy brush, like a, a little hack that I like to do, if you're ever trying to get in small areas like underneath your eyes, I will sometimes like squeeze the actual hairs of the brush and I'll just go on in and tap. So I get my brushes from all over. This is actually a Wonder 2 brush. I believe you can get it on Verishop. But I really do get my brushes from all over, from ColourPop, uh, Lunar Beauty, Laura Lee's brand. So I use a lot, a lot of different, a lot of different brushes. You guys, this is the finished look. What do we think? What do we think? This is the finished look. It's a really, really, really nice spring 
like kind of like gradual crawl into spring because we still have the neutral eye makeup and we have our bright pop of color with the lip. So I really, really love the way this came out. I also love that I'm able to experiment and try new brands through Shop. So you guys should definitely, definitely check everything out. I have it listed in the description bar down below. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube and if you are watching in the app, make sure you follow me and check out my other lists and collections that I make because I'm definitely going to be creating more. And for those of you on YouTube, there are so many amazing, amazing products on Verishop and I definitely want to continue doing more of these lives. So, you know, take a little leap and follow me on Verishop. But if you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to me via DM, leave a comment on YouTube. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And I'll see you guys next time. If there's any last questions, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wait for like 30 seconds. But this is pretty much it. Oh, you can kind of see the sparkle now. I wonder if, oh man, I wish I had a flashlight for you guys to see. The sparkle is just so pretty. It's very, very sparkly. Thanks, Eric. Thanks, Chelsea. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Kate. Junie's, Junie's like, bye everyone. <laughs> Any questions on YouTube, Rouse? I'm just saying stunning. Oh, thank you, nice. guys. You look like Emma Roberts. Oh, wow. Thanks. Well, thank you guys so much. And I hope to see you guys soon to do another live. Thank you, guys. And have a great rest of your night.